So a while ago I made a business card circuit board that could run the game of tic-tac-toe which was mostly successful but I had a segment of LEDs that wasn't working and also the USB plug didn't work. So I made some quick fixes and this is the fully functional product. Uh, so let's give it a try. So like last time there is a two player mode where the player is indicated by a flashing light. In this case player one is indicated by a flashing blue light. You can move the player around by briefly pressing the control button and I can uh, set the player's position by holding the control button briefly. So for example, if I want to place it there, I just hold that a bit. So now it is switched to player two, which is indicated by the flashing red light. And again, I can just move the player around by briefly clicking the control button. So for example, I can place the red player here. So let me just make a blue one by making this uh, line all blue. And now it's a blue one indicated by all the lights flashing blue. I can also make a red one by, for example, making this line all red. And now it's a red wind indicated by all the lights flashing red. So that was single player mode, but or two player mode, but there's also a single player mode where you can play against a card. So to activate that you simply uh, hold the control button for a couple of seconds. And in two player or single player mode you basically play against an AI that just simply randomly guesses. So it's not particularly smart. So now it's one player mode indicated by the one that draws. So for example, if I place a point here, the card will randomly guess this point. So let me just win, uh, which would be pretty easy since again, it just guesses. And now I won indicated by all the whites flashing blue. And again, I can switch back to two player mode by simply uh, pressing and holding the control button for a couple seconds. And now it is two player mode indicated by the two that it draws. And again, I can try, um, I can try making a blue one to demonstrate that it still works. So again, it's a blue one indicated by all the lights flashing blue. And all the code and schematics will be in the description. However, this card was actually pretty badly designed since I started the project my first year of college and was completely clueless to a lot of engineering concepts, so there are a lot of upgrades that I would like to add. The first issue is that I directly connected each pin to each LED, which caused me to use a microcontroller with a ton of pins. I could have reduced the number of pins by using Charlie Plexing, which a lot of people recommended. This would have let me use a smaller and cheaper microcontroller. The second issue is that the AI is pretty dumb since it just guesses. I think it might be cool to upgrade it to use something like the Minimax algorithm, which is really well suited for tic-tac-toe. Finally, I'd like to upgrade the USB port to USB-C since that's what everyone seems to be switching to now. If this is something that you're interested in, I'll let me know in the comments and I'll try to build it in less than two years if there's a lot of interest. Also subscribe to see it as soon as it comes out. Thanks for watching.